Hi, welcome to a SolidWorks Connected video tutorial. It's a basic surface exercise, the rotary switch, and I haven't uploaded a video on this exercise for SolidWorks before. So, let's have fun with SolidWorks! Okay, first I want to define an axis as reference, so go for an axis, and I want it to be the intersection of two planes and let's go for the front plane and the right plane and confirm. Now my first sketch might be on the front plane. So go for a sketch, sketch on the front plane and this would be a line somewhere over here, maybe like that and I will need a construction line as reference like that. Now add some dimensions. This should be 60. This might be 50. And the angle here should be 6 degrees. Finish that sketch. Now another sketch on the same plane. This should be an arc, a center point arc, yes. Maybe something like this. Okay. Add some construction lines like that. Add dimensions. So this radius should be 20. And I need an angle over here. This should be 70 degrees. Okay, that distance here should be 30 and that distance 50. Now I need an angle between this one and that one here and this should be I think 10 degrees let's check yeah this looks legit leave that sketch next I need a sketch on the right plane and let's go for a center point arc should start at the center point not like this but like that okay try to snap the radius should be 64 and this point and that point should be aligned horizontal and that point and this point should be aligned vertical. Confirm. Leave that sketch. And now I can go for my surfaces. First one would be an extrude with this one. So go for extrude, select that arc and make it 60. Confirm. Then I want to extend this one and this one, maybe switch I don't need this one here. Okay, now go for an extend which should be not a boundary surface, where is it? 
there you go extend surface this edge here and distance yes linear yes i can go for 40 millimeters that's okay same on the other edge here and again maybe the same values nice this should be a revolve so go for a revolve select this profile and this should be the axis and i want to go for 90 degrees in this direction that's okay and confirm and i need another extrude with this one here and again i can go for 60 millimeters yeah that should do and confirm and now i have to trim and maybe first switch off those review graphics it's better to recognize what is what now let's go for the trim and that's this one i want to trim them much mutual so i want to select them all okay and here i can select the faces which should be removed and i want to remove this here looks good this here that this one this one this one that one and this one and this as well now this looks very good so let's confirm this is really a very nice surface trim tool maybe hide that axis here and now i need a fillet with variable radius so let's go for features go for fillet let's go for 20 millimeters and select variable fillet select this edge and let's define this one here this would be 10 millimeters and that one here would be 20. looks okay and i don't need i can go for one and let's confirm okay now another fillet with five millimeters a constant one on this edge here which goes all around looks good confirm and now i can mirror that part so go for where's the mirror there you go i want to mirror a body this would be the body the mirror face plane would be the front plane and it should merge or knit the surfaces confirm and then another mirror again a body this body here again it should knit the surfaces and the mirror plane would be the right plane like that and confirm and i'm done so hope you enjoyed this one hope it was helpful if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel and you can follow me also on Facebook, GrabCat or Instagram. 
Thanks for watching. See you to the next one.